The Mint Award IT is a great platform that we as ZF host to give students a medium to make their thesis visible and to give them the opportunity to connect to the business departments which are highly relevant for their further careers. Hi, my name is Tobias. I studied computer science at the RWTH Aachen University and I applied for the Mint Award um, mainly because I already knew that um, um, from a program that I did, um, Unitech International, um, that I did during my studies. Um, and therefore I knew about the Mint Award and knew that it would be a great uh, opportunity um, for, for handing in the thesis. Um, yeah, I'm obviously very honored that I uh, made the first prize this year and um, I'm also very honored that the jury was so convinced by my, by my work and I think it's a, it's a great recognition for all the hard work um, that I put um, into this thesis and the effort and therefore I'm, I'm super happy to, to, to um, receive the first prize. And um, yeah, so my thesis um, is actually about 3D scene understanding, so um, algorithms that perceive the world um, just like uh, we humans do or aim um, to perceive the world like we humans do and um, yeah and within this we um, deal with three subtests that would work, work towards towards this goal and um, um, yeah and therefore I think it's also very well aligned with the next generation mobility of the F and um, that's also why I choose um, this topic is that um, through the applications of these algorithms like uh, autonomous cars or robotics or augmented reality, you can make a lot of impact in the real world and affect um, the lives uh, um, of, of, of many humans and um, change them for better. So I think it's a very rewarding um, topic to work on. Um, yeah, some special moments during, during my thesis were, um, for example, where we were able to hand in the thesis at the, at the conference, um, which was really cool and also um, participating in a Kaggle challenge um, was was very nice, um, but also obviously there were very many challenging moments. So getting the implementation right, so of your idea, like you you imagine some idea how you can make um, the algorithms better that are currently there, and then you need to to actually get this to work, and that's sometimes quite challenging, but also then in the end quite um, rewarding. So. Um, what I would, would suggest to, to current students is that um, you should find a topic that you are passionate about and where you think that you can make an impact um, with your skill set and um, if you have that, um, you're going to be successful. My name is Michael Olbrich and I studied electrical engineering at the Technical University of Munich. My main motivation for applying for the Mint Award IT was the chance of getting a first-hand impression of ZF as an attractive employer, but of course also because I was very eager to win an award with my thesis. So actually being awarded is not only an honor to me, but was a nice way of getting in contact. And I think the award gives the important message that good work and effort are rewarded. So that really motivates to always give my best. In my thesis I addressed the problem of safe autonomous driving. So here we are usually not able to find a safety guarantee due to the uncertainty of the motion of other traffic participants. Therefore, I combined a stochastic approach with a backup strategy that then allows both efficient and guaranteed safe driving. I chose this topic because I was and still am interested in autonomous driving and I already did a research project before with the same supervisor also in the field of autonomous driving. So it was a nice way of incorporating and extending my knowledge. I think my work is a small step towards safety for fully autonomous vehicles and hopefully it helps to advance research in this field. During the time of writing my thesis there was one situation that especially remains in my memory. That was when I was doing a lot of simulations for the final results, so the deadline was closing in and suddenly one of the simulations contained a traffic scenario where a crash occurred despite the safety guarantee, so that was quite the shock. Fortunately, it turned out only to be a minor issue with a traffic participant doing some unrealistic motion. So the short panic attack was quite soon replaced by relief. What I want to pass on to other students is not to get down by throwbacks. I think this is something that happens from time to time and it is very important not to lose one's motivation but keep focused on the goal even if that means to make a small step backwards.
Ja, and this summer I graduated in IT Systems Engineering from the Herzog Ladner Institute in Potsdam. When a friend of mine told me about the STEM award, I thought the topic of my bachelor thesis fits the topic of next generation mobility really well, so I sent a summary of my thesis to the F. I'm really glad to be among the winners and get to know a big company like the F, which engages in clean and safe mobility. In my bachelor thesis, I investigate if there's a way to save CO2 emissions through strategic routing suggestions for a navigation system. I also suggest algorithms that give solutions for this. I chose this topic because I'm concerned about climate change and want to, fi want to find solutions to reduce our emissions. My contribution to the next generation mobility is to give ideas and algorithms that reduce the overall CO2 emissions in traffic. Of course, there were also very difficult and demanding phases while writing my thesis, for example, when I couldn't find the error in my code for days or when I realized after a few weeks that the proof isn't correct. Then it was important to keep going and, for example, let supervisors or other students look over it. The best moments were when I found the error after a long time and came to a great result. I also really enjoyed the moment when I finally had the printed version of my thesis in my hands. In my opinion, in order to write a good thesis, it is really important to choose a topic that you are interested in and to be willing to invest a lot of time and effort. Finally, I would like to thank the F for giving students an opportunity to present academic research projects and for highly evaluating them. It's a pleasure for ZF to nominate the winners of the Mint Award IT 2020. Even during those challenging times, we kept our commitment to honor activities in the STEM fields, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, now actually in the third year in a row with our IT awards. ZF is shaping the next generation mobility and especially investing into the future fields of autonomous driving as well as e-mobility. Therefore, we are looking for new concepts and brilliant IT talents that are working with us to help making mobility even safer and cleaner. I'm personally fascinated every year about the passion and expertise of the talents that are handing in their thesis to us. You all are at the cutting edge and with your research helping to accelerate innovation solutions for the next generation mobility. Let's bring next generation mobility onto the roads together. ZF and Audimax have been awarding the Mint Award IT to pave the way for tomorrow's mobility. The path to an always available, affordable, safe and clean transportation. My motivation for being a juror is easily explained. It's a chance to get in touch with new approaches, new ideas and concepts, and with the students who have worked on these topics. In the end, it's fun. I'm proud to be a member of the jury because I personally believe it's important for ZF to connect to the brilliant people out there who we need now and in the future.